The concept of fairness is really important to me. So we have these families who meet the eligibility criteria. So they work for the New Zealand Defence Force and because of that uh, they are at risk. And our government made a commitment to do the right thing and allocate New Zealand visas to those people. But they had an arbitrary cutoff date of the 25th of August and there were some families who missed that date and the reason they missed it was for very legitimate reasons. They had fled their homes and gone to the mountains because that was safer for them. And at a very basic level, there's no phone reception up there. So quite literally, they, you know, they missed the memo. Some of the people that I know of that have missed out on visas, they, they were security guards for the New Zealand Defence Force. So, you know, quite literally had their lives on the line to protect New Zealand soldiers. One of those security guards, his name is Murad, uh, he was killed. And it's believed that this, is, this was because of the Taliban and because of his connection uh, with the New Zealand Defence Force. And so it's just a real plea to the Minister of Immigration, uh, maybe even the Prime Minister. Please, these people are eligible. Please, can we get rid of this? The fact that there are a, sort, a small group of people that have not been granted a visa for just arbitrary date reasons just feels completely unfair and it feels like we're not meeting our moral obligation as a country. Um, and I think that's something that New Zealanders, it's important to New Zealanders. We, we care about giving people a fair go. We care about doing the right thing. We care about protecting those who have protected us. And so, you know, security guards who help protect New Zealand soldiers, not getting a visa, it, it just doesn't seem fair.